firing sequence starts in three, two, one. We're training people who have the zest for wanting to go into space, okay? Uh, it's been a lot of people's dreams for many years, and of course, as you know, previous space programs were restricted to just NASA and their select handful of astronauts. Well, now with the rise of the suborbital space market, you've got several launch providers who are taking just the average person off the street with a little bit of training, with a little bit of physical conditioning, if they had the financial support to be able to fly in the suborbital space. What we provide here is a G to G replication of a suborbital launch, space flight, and recovery. So it doesn't get any more real than that. I'm just uh, fulfilling uh, a fantasy I've had for a while and um, do a centrifuge and a simulated space flight. You know, whether it's realistic or not, I think most people. They want to be ready if and when that opportunity presents itself. I'm probably a little bit more optimistic than most. I've, I've been to the spaceport and I, I see how far they are along on this project. You know, the spaceships are built. There's been over 400 tickets sold. So, in me, that's not a question. It's just a question of um, uh, how soon. Going to space is always, there's always some element of danger. There's always going to be some element of risk. Driving home from work tonight, there's going to be an element of risk. People are looking at suburban space flights, and in some cases they think it's a, nothing much more than a commercial ride from New York to Los Angeles. Nothing can be further from the truth than that, okay? Uh, your aircraft is gonna be much smaller. The velocity and the speeds are gonna be much greater. And then when you make that turn to go vertical, to go from horizontal flight or from a takeoff from a runway, and go vertical to go straight up to get into suburban space, it takes a lot of speed to do that. When you have speed and a change in angle, that's an acceleration. So that vehicle is subjected to those G-forces, and the people within that vehicle are subjected to exactly the same G-forces. So you want to be prepared for that. Okay, get ready for the 100% percent This is what it's actually going to feel like. This is a real flight profile. Okay, Peter, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Peter's ready, Glenn's ready, Oliver's ready. Okay. Welcome well, to Master Center's suborbital space flight experience. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm um, entering into launch position. I'm simulating flight, getting ready for the vertical rocket into suborbital space. Firing sequence starts in three, two, one. Edges of the screen are darkening, or my vision is? No, nope, that's your vision. The, edge is, the light across the screen is the same from edge to edge. All right. So yeah. if you get darkening of the edges, that's your peripheral vision. Yeah, that was happening a little bit. Okay. So when you're hooking, your your hook was okay, but I wanted you to push a little hard with your legs, okay? You're going to be reentry. Focus on your breathing.